Hi, this is Megan Jacks, Creative Memories Independent Advisor, and I am here with sketch number one from the August 2022 Creative Memories Virtual Crop. So you'll be able to find a copy of this sketch, including the measurements on my blog. The link will be in the description below. Um, or you can find the original post from Creative Memories on their blog. You just want to go to the August 2022 Creative Memories Virtual Crop. So this sketch is a single page sketch. It looks pretty straightforward when you look at it. We have just uh, three photos. They have double matted and they're double matted with a little bit of chunky mats. So you've got almost a full half inch all the way around all three of these photos. The detail in here is they did sneak in a square mat behind all three, kind of that block that's going to tie those three um, photos together, anchor them in place, leaving some room for some journaling and some embellishment. So getting started with this, um, I am working with some photos of my oldest child who is, um, he's a senior this year. He's actually getting ready tomorrow to go move in for college. But I had photos from when he went to what they called senior ball, which is kind of like senior prom. But he, this is my son. He and his good friend went shopping and they found a, what were some very surprisingly bold choices for their um, jackets for the uh, senior ball. And it worked out great. It worked fantastic. I'm so excited that they did this. Uh, but I wanted kind of, um, you know, a page to the have with his prom photo or his the senior ball photos, a couple of his other friends at all, they all went together as a group. So that's what my layout is. And I am going to be using the Showtime collection. It actually worked great. And the reason is, and this is hilarious, is it has this um, kind of a burgundy, deep purple color in it. And this is, I'm sure when they put this together for the Showtime collection, kind of reminded like of a theater seat. It's got that little bit of that velour, um, you know, fabric when you rub it one way, it looks one way, you rub it the other and it's different. So what's great about this is my friend, my son's friend has a 1960s Dodge Dart. And I'm pretty certain the inside uh, seats are about this color. So I thought it worked perfect. It matches the floral print in my son's jacket. So that was a perfect option. So that led me to one of my colors. I also knew that I was going to use black because um, I just thought it would be an awesome option. So I played around actually a lot with this, the order of the colors. Would I use this as a background? Would I use something else as a background? And I settled on using black as the background. So about such, all right. The challenge I ran into is that, you know, it's not popping off the page very much. This, the dark plummy color here is blending in with the black. And I really wanted to play up on the fact that my son's friend was wearing kind of the yellow version of this. My son ended up with like a pink shirt under it with the black tie and then the jacket. His friend has on um, the yellow jacket with more of yellow. So I pulled in, I'm pulling in some of the gold from that Showtime. So you can see here, and this is actually going to layer under the, the, this mauve burgundy plum. I don't know what color it is as such. Now, the one thing you may know, if you look at the, the, the sketch here originally, it's an eight and a half inch square in the middle. I needed a little bit more space. Um, originally I was working with four by six images on here. And so these are obviously not four by six images. They're a little bit smaller with those big chunky mats around them. I ended up reprinting my photos to get them a little bit smaller, but I couldn't go. The ratios just weren't working for me. And the other thing I needed to do is I have to rotate. I'm actually rotating this to this side and then reversing it. So, um, because I ended up with one horizontal photo, or excuse me, one vertical photo, and then I have some horizontal photos. And I have a peekaboo pocket. I'll talk about that in a minute because I'm going to have another video for that here to share with you. So this is my overall arrangement. This is my overall arrangement. And so now it's like, okay, what am I going to do about the, the chunky mat situation? I went with a larger square because I wanted that to show. I wanted more of the burgundy color to show. If you look at what white you can actually see through here, not much. And if I was spending time to, with, if I'm spending time in paper to have this gold on the outside, I want to be able to see it. So, you know, like I said before, 
when it comes to sketches, you go where your photos take you. And my photos were taking me for some modifications. So this is what I've got going on so far. Then they had these mats in the mat pack for Showtime. And I loved the animal print. So I'm going to be using those too. So um, these are four by six mats. And the reason I, well, they were four and a half by six and a half, and I trimmed them down to four by six. The reason is, is I have more photos that I want to include, but I'm going to be including them as peekaboo pockets. So I needed to have these, um, uh, the cheetah print, the animal print, be able to go into a peekaboo pocket. So I'm going to leave this photo up here at the top, not matted. So here we go. This is, we're starting to see things take shape a little bit more. I, I still like the fact that I can see that gold around the outside. I have see a lot of this color of the background print, but this particular mat here, you can see was a journaling mat. So I needed to have something that would cover it up. This photo originally covered it up, but then I decided I did want to use the double mat effect. So I cut down out of the middle. So you'll see here, if I pull this away, you can see I've cut out the middle of that gold. And then I use that middle section to make some mats. So I can double mat my photos. And did this. this stuff. So I have those big chunky mats. So I'm keeping that aspect of the sketch. And both of these, in fact, let me, this one, this mat goes down here. And this mat goes here. This will slide under. So there you can see it. I've got, I am hanging over the edge a little bit here. Since I'm using peekaboos, I need to make sure when I lift things, everything will show clear. So these mats, all three of these things will actually be on the page protector because they are going to ultimately be peekaboo pocket. I'm not worried about showing you all of what goes under there. It's just additional photos that maybe um, I have some a couple text messages from my son when he was picking out these. He went shopping with his friend. I did not go, and he sent me some text messages to show me what he was looking at, asked a couple questions about what I thought about some things. And so I, I'm going to put those text messages in here because I think they're hilarious. And then there's a picture of my husband helping him um, do up his tie. But, like, my husband was shirtless. It was a very impromptu last-minute thing. So the photo is not the best, but I want to include it. Um, but I'll be able to tuck that away under a peekaboo pocket. And here I have just a couple more photos and a little bit more journaling that I'll put under here telling just about the day. It was a very impromptu last minute um, uh, decision to go to the event. So um, yeah, that's kind of fun there. I can show you there. So under this peekaboo pocket here, this four, this is a four by five. I'm going to have, it's a group photo of all the boys that he went with. This is a whole group of friends. And Ultimately, what I'm going to do is in here, on my other side of my peekaboo pocket, I have, I'll be sliding in a uh, piece of the black that I cut out when I made this background of frame. I cut out the inside, then I cut out a four by five. That'll just slide in here. I'm going to do a little bit of trimming it to make it work a little bit better. And then when you lift it up, I have this embellishment that has some lines on it. So it's like a journaling embellishment that I'll come in here, slide it in here. But before, obviously, I adhere it in place, I'm going to write all their names on up here at the top. So he'll know everybody that he went to school with or all that he went to the senior ball with. So there's that detail. We'll come in there. So now it's a little bit about finishing some details up. So um, when I trimmed down these mats. Remember I told you that they were originally four and a half by six and a half and I cut off some extra pieces. I had a strip and I'm so I'm going to put this strip up here at the top. I'm not this particular photo here doesn't have any matting around it so I'm going to put that piece at the top to just carry that animal print up there. And then down over here, I am just going to worry. I'm not going to have journaling. So they have journaling here. I am not going to have journaling. Um, the reason is, is because um, I'm going to have a, a lot of places in the peekaboo pockets for the journaling. And so I am going to be using some embellishments 
this star embellishment and the what a blast. So all in all, this is about what I'm going to be using. I do have a couple of, I've got this, this, embe uh, this embellishment, this is strike a pose. When I have my, um, there's a photo that I'm going to be using here of my, of them in their car. So this is my friend and his, or my son and his friend in front of their, his car, a better picture of showing the car. And so when I put this peekaboo pocket in here, I'm going to probably put that embellishment on like that. So when you flip up this peekaboo pocket, this is what you will see at the top, or it'll be down underneath and I'll have the more journaling about um, their shopping experience and all that fun stuff. So little details that'll be hidden away in those peekaboo pockets. And there are, there was a, a this Bravo sticker I was thinking of using as well. I mean, it was a lot of just like in excitement, especially um, I do have some messages from my friend, his friend's mom. That they, they were just excited that the boys did this, that they went, that they chose a bold outfit option. Definitely was a talk of the evening, I guess, at the, um, at the dance, but overall a great way to kind of end out your senior year. And I really wanted to make sure that the layout, you know, encapsulated the fun, the funky, and I think this does a great job of doing that. So as I mentioned, this is sketch number one from the August 2022 Creative Memories Virtual Crop. I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this. Be sure to share it um, there um, in the Creative Memories Virtual Crop group. You can be entered in for prizes. And if you're a part of any of the Facebook groups that I'm in, um, go ahead, uh, toss it in there. Uh, tag me on it if you want. I would love to see what you create. All right. Thanks for watching.